Have you ever been in a dating situation or even in a relationship and it didn't end well and you thought, well, it was his loss? Well, today we're going to talk about how to make a man regret losing you. everybody welcome back to another episode of keeping it real with keandra i am your host licensed marriage and family therapist keandra jackson now like i said we all been in situations where he wasn't acting right so i'm gonna go ahead and move on and guess what you gonna regret missing out on all of these all of these oh that's from my wife and kids some of y'all don't know. Some of y'all don't even know. But before we get into today's video, I need for you to put in the comment section, have you ever regretted losing somebody? Actually, let's take it a step further too, because this is a two-part question. Has anyone ever regretted losing you? <laughs> put it in the comment section. I want to know so we can chit chat. Let me just add this in here before we get to the list. This is not about revenge. This is not about getting even. I don't want y'all to even click on this video thinking that I'm on some ha 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 evil villain type stuff. Let's make sure that he regrets losing you. That isn't really about this. It really is about you making sure you your best self, you being who you supposed to be in order for you to get all of the things that God has for you. But if we're in the process of talking about something, let's be real and get into this list. So the first way on how you can make sure a man regrets losing you is to create a new routine. Oftentimes when we're dating and in a relationship with somebody, we get used to the mundane day of how we do things. We wake up, we might get a good morning, beautiful text. You know, we might hop on a phone call, do a video chat. We do all of these things out of routine. And I'm here for routines because I really do think that starting your day off with routines is actually healthy. But when you're in relationship with someone, they are also a part of your daily routine. So when you're used to getting those good morning text messages and calls in the middle of the day and I'm thinking about you and dates and all of those things but now all of a sudden y'all not together no more so those things don't exist you actually experience gaps and holes in your day where those things used to be and sometimes when we experience those voids and those gaps and those holes it makes us feel a type of way we're like dang I didn't get a good night text today. Dang, I ain't got nobody to hang out with or nobody to video chat. And we start to feel sad and lonely. So if you are finding yourself to be in a situation like that, we got to switch the routine up, right? So in those gaps and holes where you were conversing or chit-chatting or having that person be a part of your day, let's find other productive and constructive things to add in those spaces so you won't feel like you're lacking anything. The second way on how to make a man regret losing you is to become a better you. Now, I'm talking about for real. Y'all know I'm big on leveling up in every aspect of your life, spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially, relationally. Making sure that you are your best you is the best way to get a man to regret losing you. Because essentially, you're working on yourself. You're doing personal development. You're doing self-improvement. You're reading books. You're going back to school. You're doing all of the things that you need to do. You're focusing on your strengths. You're bettering your weaknesses. You're really taking a bird's eye view to become the best version of yourself. And as you are elevated and growing and evolving, they will be watching you being like, well, dang, when I was with her and when I was dating her, she wasn't doing all that. But now she done leveled up and that becomes attractive. OK, to him or her, because they can see that you're not at home wallowing crying all night <laughs> you are going on about your life and that can bother some men to be honest with you it bothers them because you're prioritizing yourself now you're prioritizing your mental health your well-being you're eating better you're having a healthier lifestyle you're working out you're doing all of the things that you need to do to better yourself and hopefully they should be doing the same thing but nine times out of ten they probably not they're probably just being them themselves, doing what they used to do. And that's why they're looking at you like, dang, she leveling up and I'm still where I used to be. So all I'm saying is, do you, boo. Get you some hobbies, enjoy some new things, go new places, engage in new activities. Don't limit yourself just because you're no longer in a relationship or you're no longer dating this person. Live your best life, boo. Live your best life. The next one, number three on how to make a man regret losing you is simple. I'm going to say it like this. Move on. 
move the hell on, actually. And I'm talking about getting back on the dating scene. Hold on. Let me give a disclaimer, though. Move on when you're ready and healed enough to move on. Because sometimes we get out of one situation and hop into another one. We get out of that one and hop into another one. And we don't take any space, any time. We don't unpack our ish, right? And so we go from dating situation or relationship to relationship. And we bleed on all of these people because we never stop to take the time to heal, to get through whatever it was that we got through or needed to get through before we engage with another person. So move on when you're ready and healed enough to move on. But that also means getting back on the dating scene, right? Because you're already becoming a better you. You already doing all of the things. You're eating cleaner. You're leveling up. You're going back to school. You're reading books. <laughs> you're doing all of those things. You're working on the things that you need to work on. You are being your best sense of self. So getting out there and meeting new people and getting back on dating apps and going on lunch dates and doing what you need to do really does show that man that you are not, again, sitting at home crying all night over him because you're not. <laughs> and you're out there trying to move on with your life and get with somebody who is actually who is going to work with, right? Like the goal is to be with the person that God has for you. The goal is to be with the person that you're supposed to be with. And if that person <laughs> that you're no longer with isn't the person, then we need to go find the person that we're supposed to be with. Number four, the next way on how to make a man regret losing you is to be unbothered. Let me say that again for the people in the back. Be unbothered. Like oftentimes, and I don't know about y'all because there are different situations out there where we still may be in communication with the person we're no longer dating or in a relationship with for whatever reason. There's sometimes where it's just like, nope, I ain't never talking to you again. It's a wrap. But for the people who do have some type of communication or who do technically in relationships on a more positive note, or, you know, they're still kind of like friends or whatever. Treat that man like a friend. Don't try to treat him and give him all of the girlfriend or dating privileges that you used to give him. Like the level of access that he has to have to you has to be diminished. Because if he thinks that he can call you whenever, FaceTime you whenever, pull up at your house whenever, have sex with you, whatever, then what really changed? <laughs> Basically, y'all are in a relationship without a title, you know, and that isn't necessarily the healthiest thing anyway. That's why people get into situationships which I did a video about, which I'll link up here for the people who want to check that out. So basically know that that man is no longer your boyfriend, they're no longer your partner, and they are essentially friend zone. And to be honest with you, they better be lucky they have that kind of access to you because like I mentioned before, there are some people who I'm like blocking. <laughs> I ain't talking to you ever again. Your number is deleted from my phone. I don't care nothing about you. I'm going through my life as if you never existed to begin with. And number five, the fifth way on how to make a man regret losing you is to look the F good, okay? I need for you, not good, but good with a T at the end. G-O-O-D-T. <laughs> you got to look good, sis. You got to get back in the gym. You got to be your healthiest self. You got to get back with doing your hair, doing your makeup, wearing cute clothes, getting them nails and them feet done, having on a fly outfit. Get back to looking good. I don't care what anybody says. Anytime that you looking good, you got your hair done, makeup done, a cute outfit on, all of those things, you naturally just feel good about yourself. I remember I went to an event recently and I was, huh, I'm going to insert the picture here, okay? Your girl was fine, fine, okay? I'm talking about hair done, nails done, dress was on point. I was like, I'm, I'm looking good out here, right? But essentially, I felt good, you know? And not only did I get compliments throughout that day, but I internally was like, I forgot I'm that girl. So you need to remember that you're that girl too. So when you step out the house, don't step out of the house just looking whatever. There are some times where you're just running quick errands or whatever and you got on some sweats. But if you are going outside of the house for a long period of time, whatever you do, just take a little bit of extra time to work on yourself, to do that hair, to do that makeup, to put on some extra jewelry because you never know who's watching you. You might go to Target and be on a Target run and meet some fine men, right? So you just never know. So another way <laughs> to make sure that he regrets losing you 
is to look good. And to be honest with you, I know that man is watching you. He probably watching your social media or seeing what you're doing. And when he sees you looking good, you got on your heels and you looking fly, he like, dang, I low key am missing out. So these are just some quick things that I personally thought would be helpful to you on how to make sure a man regrets losing you. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. And I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.